Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counter Side video. Today's video, we're going to be featuring Alex and her strategy and also her build. But before that, if you want an updated Counter Side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we have here Alex. So, Old Administration Maze Division. So, Alex has three deployment costs, which is actually right in, you know, where it's supposed to be for a striker. But for the value that she adds, it's actually a very good number. Okay, she's a counter SSR striker, ground type, and also ground attack. Okay, let's go to her stats, guys. For her strengths, she has her HP, which is at 48657, and also crit, which is at 7, 8, 798, which are actually, again, her strengths. And her weaknesses would be her attack. Um, I'm not sure why they built her with uh, with uh, below average attack. But again, this can be augmented through your gears. Also, um, her evasion is actually um, low as well. Hit rate is actually low as well. And defense is actually below average. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at uh, Alex's skills. Okay, guys, so we are here in Alex's skill info. Basic skill, basic attack, valid two hits, very good for a striker, and very good for your lead tank if you're going to use her. Swings a high power device, inflicting AoE damage to the front. Levels 2, 3, 4, and 5 is a plus 20% for basic attack damage. <clears throat> Passive skill, damage limiter. So the tech stealth activates her device when her HP drops to 50% or lower. Basic attack additionally attacks. Additional attacks and all attacks create a barrier equal to 3% of max HP for 5 seconds. Um, she becomes tankier as her HP goes down. Level 2, 3, and 4 attack speed is a plus 20%. So she actually, you know, uh, make make it makes sure that she puts in those barriers, and at level five, attack up to fifty plus fifty percent based on HP loss. Okay, immunity to hit stun from special or lower skills during barrier. Next is going to be her special skill. It's life overdrive. It's an eighteen second cooldown, which is actually fast. Valid hits is two, which is an AOE. Amplifies her device output tempor temporarily in reinforcing her physical capability. Inflicts AoE damage in the front and increases max HP by 25%. So not only she increases her attack, she also increases her HP and she adds a, a barrier to herself. So the, the special skill level 234 is an additional damage of 25% and at level 5, HP is a plus 50% instead um, instead of 25%. So randomly also removes one non-permanent buff. So again, she's very tanky and she has a buff removal for her special skill. And lastly is her ultimate skill, Side Chain Compressor. Okay, so 48 seconds for the cooldown. Valid hits is 3, which is an AoE. Maximizes her device output and causes an underground explosion inflicting AoE damage in the front. So level 2, 3, 4 damage is going to be a plus 25%. And level 5 damage increases up to 50% based on HP loss. So again, damage um, increase, increase in HP, and also what? Um, barrier as well. So again, she would be your perfect tank at 3 deployment cost actually for a striker. Okay, so let's take a look at Alex's gear. So don't be shocked, guys. This is not her 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 own gear. I actually got this from my um, Awakened Hilde. So um, she is actually going to be equipped either HP, all HP, two HP sets to maximize her HP and her tankiness. Or if you want to, you know, if you want to ensure that the barrier stays up and you know and deal more attacks. You can actually put um, attack speed as her gear set. So again, HP or attack speed for the gear set. Then for the additional stats here, the yellow portion or actually option one and option two, that's a fixed stat. 
Let's look for it. Okay. For both your additional stats, you have the option of giving her additional HP or additional hit because her hit is, I think, below average. Or you can actually add attack to her um, gear stats. So those are my, are my recommendations. Um, it's really up to you guys on how you want to customize and how you want to use Alex on your teams. But more or less, she is actually going to be a very good tank. So as you can see, HP is at 60,000 um, if you put all HP gears. This is actually as one HP as well. Substat hit, skill haste. I don't want to change that. The attack is here as well. Um, can be changed to HP and HP is here as well. So ideally, what you equip in your defenders, especially if they have all HP sets, ideally is actually good for her. Again, these sets uh, these sets that I equipped her is actually from Awakened Hilde and actually she's ready to go. Okay, let's take a look at um, her deployment strategy, guys. Okay, so first and foremost, when you play Alex, she will be most probably your lead tank. Most probably as well, um, she's going to be your, uh, she's going to be in your rush teams, whether it be counter teams or it be soldier teams. She will be the lead for you, uh, or at least an off tank, just in case if you want to bring a a more tankier um, front line, like for example a three to cast, um, three to cast, three deployment cost uh, defender then she can be the other one behind that defender again she's very she is very um low cost i tell you that at three you can deploy her you can spam her and um if you actually put her up to level 110 she's going to you know um, you know, um bring you dividends and i can see that rush teams will be back in style once you have her and also we have nayel as well recently released so Again, she's going to be valuable in rush teams. And uh, I think I'm, we're going to see a lot of rush teams coming in or making a comeback for our PvP. So let's take a look at her. Um, that is her special skill. So let's take a look at it again. So it, I think it's a double slash one. Oh, no, it's only a single slash. Okay, then let's... Um, Let's do let's do unsummon her at this point. Let's put out AI here. Not air. Reset enemy. <laughs> Only a ground unit. So let's do AI is on. So as you can see, daggers the enemy with her initial hit. And uh, let's take a look at her ultimate, guys, and see how it looks. So take note, this is three hits, sidechain compressor. That is actually her ultimate. Let's actually show another, you know, another, another clip of her ultimate. Again, three hits for her sidechain compressor. Very good staggers, staggers them back and, you know, um, they lose balance. And usually that is where you could do additional damage as you stagger your enemies. Okay. Okay. So my final thoughts for Alex, um, I think she's going to be specific to rush teams. Um, I don't mind bringing her in um, other mixed teams, but she will really shine in rush teams. If you have rush teams for counters... For soldiers, she can be your lead. Again, she can also be your off tank. Um, at three cost, she is going to shine really. If you put her again as your leader, she's going. She's only going to be at two cost. So, um, what if you put there her the Nayel second, and it's really, really, um, you know, it will be really a a mess or a chaos if your opponent is not prepared. Or if your opponent is not, you know, not really up to pushing back a rush attack. So again, um, she's actually very good. Specialized for rush teams. Um, for PvE, um, I'm going to rate her a 7 out of 10. Superb. Um, going to be superb in Shadow Palace. But can be used anywhere in PvE as long as you need her. But again, um, she will excel really in Shadow Palace. And um, PvP... She is an 8 out of 10 um, because she only specializes in rush teams. 
um, you would get more, you know, get more value from her for rush teams. I'm not saying that she can't be used in other uh, teams, but again, she is specialized in rush teams, but can be used um, in any PvP team. Okay, can be a striker or a tank, um, no, off tank or your lead um, tank, sorry, can be your uh, lead tank or your off tank. So she can actually be very tanky um, if you, especially if you level up her up to 110. Okay, guys, so that is, those are my thoughts for Alex. And hope you have, um, what do you call this? Hope you have luck in summoning for Alex if you haven't yet. Um, m for my experience in summoning for her, eh, I, I wasn't able to to capture uh, that moment because I was actually the rush and I was doing other things. But again, hope this guide helps you. And for those who have stayed this far in this video, um, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any counter side videos. Also, guys, don't forget to put a like to this video if you find this um, helping you or very informative. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.